The first inaugural Ganey Cup took place recently here on Fort Benning, where cavalry scout teams from posts all over the world came to compete for the coveted title of best cab team in the Army. Nineteen teams of five competed in a wide range of events from reconnaissance to live fire. The Fort Benning TV team was there from start to finish to bring you complete coverage. In our first story, Melissa Anderson brings us a live fire action from the Digital Multipurpose Range Complex. Ganey Cup competitors headed out to the DMPRC to conduct indirect and direct fires during one of the main events of the competition, the live fire tactical scenario. Before they hit the range, the scouts are given their operations order, a plan that describes the who, what, where, when, and why of what they're about to encounter. While they conduct defensive preparation in the vicinity of key sites and infrastructure to our rear. Then they load their ammunition and head down range. Once at the range, they dismount the Bradley, assume their positions, and the mission begins. Being a small element as 19 Delta Cavalry Scouts, we operate a real small three to five man team. That's exactly what we're doing out there called fire range. Since these teams are small, every team member must be proficient in identifying targets. And communication between the team and higher command is crucial as a team calls for fire. You as a leader have to be competent in where you're engaging your indirect fires. And if you're out there uh, in front of a main, main element calling for fire and you really don't know what you're doing, that's very dangerous. During the mission, the team is also tested on their shooting skills and knowledge. It is very important that you know the engagement and disengagement criteria. Um, for example, if you're out there engaging a light armored tank uh, or a light armored vehicle and you're engaging it with your direct fire systems, then that's probably not a good thing to do. After the mission is complete, the scouts head to the weapons testing station. Here, they have to disassemble, assemble, and perform function checks on five different weapon systems. Knowing how to do this is a critical part of being a cavalry scout. As you come into a firefight or anything like that, you have to be able to uh, make the correction. And then you uh, apply immediate um, action on the weapon if you do have a function, but if that doesn't fix it, you have to take apart the weapon and then find out what the problem is in a short amount of time. The live fire tactical scenario and weapons testing are two main events at the Ganey Cup that test essential Cav Scout skills. Melissa Anderson, Fort Benning TV.